you're watching an unexpected visitor from deep space. Meet 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object ever spotted by human beings through the Atlas program. And Chinese scientists captured several incredible snapshots. A new announcement has emerged out of Beijing, and its timing alone has raised eyebrows among those who had been following 3i Atlas closely. The update is concise, almost understated, yet there's a tension in the wording that suggests something deeper beneath the surface. China has released fresh findings on the interstellar object, and while the language remains technical, it hints at observations that don't entirely align with the assumptions many had grown comfortable repeating. The way the report is written naturally leads to a single question. What, exactly, China saw during the hours when the rest of the world wasn't watching? For months, telescopes across the world had been trained on this strange wanderer, a swift, icy visitor from beyond our solar system that refused to behave like any comet astronomers thought they understood. Even before China's statement surfaced, the international scientific community sensed that 3i Atlas was going to disrupt more than just cometary theory. The closer researchers looked, the more they found themselves confronting behaviors that contradicted long-held assumptions. And as these anomalies accumulated, a quiet tension built beneath the scientific enthusiasm, an unspoken concern that this object might be forcing a redefinition of what interstellar visitors truly are. China's report, though outwardly routine, seems to confirm that suspicion. Scientific monitoring of 3i Atlas unfolded in a coordinated global effort, drawing on the steady eyes of Earth-based observatories and the unparalleled sensitivity of space telescopes. Hubble captured optical frames. The James Webb Space Telescope probed the infrared spectrum. Observatories across Europe, South America, and the Pacific tracked its brightness and motion. Yet from the start, 3i Atlas defied expectations. Instead of brightening with water-driven sublimation as it neared the sun, as virtually all comets in our solar system do, it displayed a coma nearly devoid of water vapor. Instead, its halo glowed with carbon dioxide emissions, a dominant chemical signature that pointed toward origin under conditions profoundly unlike those that shaped the comets familiar to Earth. This chemical red flag deepened the mystery. A CO2-driven comet was unusual, but not impossible. An interstellar CO2-driven comet with almost no detectable water was something else entirely. It hinted at a planetary system governed by colder, more distant, or more volatile rich processes than anything in our local cosmic neighborhood. But this puzzle was only beginning to form when an unprecedented crisis struck the world's observatories. Over a randomly overlapping 36-hour window, nearly every major Western telescope slipped into scheduled downtime. Hubble underwent gyroscope realignment. JWST initiated a mode switch that required over a day of thermal stabilization. The very large telescope in Chile entered its maintenance cycle, with its massive mirrors taken offline for cleaning. Gemini North and South transitions to pre-approved programs unrelated to transient tracking. Each of these actions was reasonable on its own. Together, they formed something astronomers dread, a global blind spot. And the timing could not have been worse. During that window, 3i Atlas approached its most revealing position, skirting a region dangerously close to the sun's glare, where observations are already difficult. Without specialized instruments, the object vanished temporarily into the solar background. The missing data created a hole in the light curve of an object that would never again pass through our solar system. For scientists, the lost window represented not just incomplete information, but a permanently erased chapter of a once-in-a-lifetime event. But the sky was not silent everywhere. Across the Pacific, China's high-altitude observatories in Tibet, Qinghai, and Yunnan continued watching. Their schedules, unaligned with Western institutions, remained intact during the blackout. Their elevated thin air and cold temperatures provided optimal viewing conditions, allowing uninterrupted coverage while the rest of the world was blind.
automated telescope networks tracked fast-moving objects with remarkable consistency, adapting in real time as weather and target visibility shifted. While larger and more powerful observatories paused, China's mid-sized instruments recorded the only continuous stream of optical and infrared data during the blackout. The technical precision behind these efforts was meticulous. Short exposure times between 30 and 120 seconds prevented motion blur as 3i Atlas tore across the sky at extraordinary speed. Every image was time-stamped to within a millisecond using GPS clocks and stored in FITS format, preserving crucial metadata such as filter configuration, temperature, and pointing coordinates. These files traveled through fiber optic links to reinforce data centers in Nanjing and Beijing, where redundancy systems ensured uninterrupted power despite the harsh conditions. Engineers called these facilities servers under ice, a testament to their reliability under extreme environments. When Hubble and JWST finally resumed operations, 3i Atlas had already traveled more than a million kilometers along its hyperbolic path. Without China's data, reacquiring the object might have required blind scanning and could have introduced substantial positional uncertainty. Instead, the global timeline of observations remained intact. What Chinese observatories witnessed during the blackout only deepened the puzzle. Over the 36-hour interval, 3i Atlas brightened by roughly a third of a magnitude, a noticeable but modest jump indicating a temporary spike in activity. The coma elongated toward the sun, suggesting that a jet of gas and dust erupted from the nucleus in a direction rarely observed in typical comets. Later analysis revealed that the dust grains released during this phase were unusually large and carbon-rich, a combination seldom seen in solar system comets. These details, though subtle, hinted at internal mechanisms or external influences unlike those familiar to comet researchers. And while China's report stopped short of drawing conclusions, the choice of wording suggested that the implications were not lost on them. As images continued to arrive in the weeks that followed, new anomalies emerged. Photographs taken in November 2025 revealed a teardrop-shaped extension of the coma, pointing not away from the sun, but toward it. This unusual structure was quickly labeled a sunward anti-tail, a term that raised more questions than it answered. The shape and consistency of this structure led some researchers to propose that it might not be a simple dust feature at all, but potentially the result of a collection of solid fragments or particles trailing or possibly orbiting the main body of 3i Atlas. Because the nucleus appears to experience non-gravitational acceleration, likely caused by CO2-driven outgassing, any solid companions not affected by this force would gradually lag behind in a way that, from our perspective, appears sunward. The idea of a swarm of objects accompanying the comet was provocative and controversial, but it arose naturally from the data rather than speculation. Further complicating matters, observers noted hints of pulsed jet activity, episodic bursts that made the comet's brightness fluctuate like a steady, slow heartbeat. These pulses, if confirmed, would signify a rhythmic internal process, perhaps tied to rotational modulation or the exposure of different CO2-rich regions on the nucleus. The behavior was unlike anything observed in Oumuamua or Borisov, the only two previous interstellar visitors. Once again, China's data appeared to contain clues, even if their final statement avoided dramatic claims. The scientific implications of all this data extended beyond the comet itself. For decades, the world's largest and most powerful telescopes were concentrated in Western or Western-aligned institutions. Their size, sensitivity, and prestige made them the arbiters of astronomical truth. Yet during the most critical moment of 3i Atlas's passage, they were silent. Instead, it was a network of smaller Chinese observatories, automated, distributed, and persistently watching, that captured the defining data set of a historic interstellar visitor.
Continuity, it turned out, could outweigh sheer aperture. Hundreds of short exposures, when stacked and processed with the right algorithms, produced signal-to-noise ratios rivaling those of much larger mirrors. The event subtly shifted perceptions of who holds the keys to cosmic discovery. When China released its final combined analysis, the language was careful, verified, and stripped of sensationalism. The report reiterated that 3I Atlas was composed primarily of carbon dioxide ice, had originated beyond the solar system, and had already passed through ours on a one-time trajectory before vanishing back into interstellar darkness. But beneath these straightforward conclusions lay a deeper message. The report's final sentence repeated its earlier poetic flourish. Nothing about the object has changed, and yet everything has. It was a line less about the comet itself than about humanity's relationship to the cosmos and to the systems we rely on to observe it. The universe does not wait for scheduled maintenance. It does not coordinate with international calendars or respect institutional hierarchies. It reveals its secrets only to those who happen to be watching at the right moment. During the critical hours of 3i Atlas's closest approach, half the planet looked away. The other half didn't, and in that fleeting interval, the most detailed clues about an interstellar visitor were captured not by the biggest mirrors or the most expensive equipment, but by observatories that remained awake when others blinked. In the end, China's report did not unveil alien technologies, hidden dangers, or astonishing revelations. What it revealed was something far subtler and far more profound that the boundaries of exploration are shifting, and that the truth of our universe is increasingly a global effort. 3i Atlas offered a fleeting message from another star system, whispered into the record during a moment when only a few were listening. It reminded us that the cosmos is porous, restless, and connected beyond our understanding, and that sometimes the fear lies not in what we discover, but in realizing how much we nearly missed.